with all the blessings of Christ Jesus we meet again. Today is May 5th and this is the 125th drop of the living water. We are learning the difference between walking and leaping. To walk we need two legs. Both feet must be strong equally. If not, if one leg is strong, then we are leaping, we are not walking. With one feet, one foot, we cannot walk. So, now we know where our destination is. We are going, we are heading to heaven. That is our destination. That is our ultimate goal. That is life everlasting. And we know the gift, crown of life. If you are faithful to the end, to death, I will give you the crown of life. Christ Jesus promised that. So we are heading there to receive that. In order to go there, we need both legs to be strong equally. Those two are the blood of the lamb and the word of testimony. These two we discussed. Some people have one and they just ignore about the other. Vice versa. But without one foot, we cannot. So we need both. Right. Once they get there, they have these two more main important points. They are completed. They complete these two. And now they have another challenge. Even though they complete these two, they have another challenge. Let's read this verse again. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. This is what it says. And they overcame him because of the blood of the lamb and because of the word of their testimony. Now, the second part is this. It says, and they did not love their life even to death. Hmm. This is very specific place. They did not love their life even to death. What does that mean? They knew the difference between earthly life and everlasting life. This earthly life, no matter what we are suffering or uh, satisfying or whatever it is, this is temporary. Very limited number of days. Countable number of days. But comparing to eternity, this is nothing. Just a blinking of the eyes. So, are we still with living with worldly desires this fresh like fleshly temporary interest that's what we are satisfying or forgetting about all these things but living for the eternity where we are this is the question for you and i to ask ourselves in order to face this challenge that is how they overcame. They say, it says, the Bible clearly says that they did not love their life even to death. Remember, all 12 disciples were killed. No one had a natural death. No one completed their life. Like going to aging and then died. No, no, no. Every one of them were killed. Brutally. Tormented. Still, they hold on to life everlasting. If they want, they could go back. No, no, no. Okay, I deny Jesus. I don't want that. Okay, let me live and let me go back to my life. No, no, no. They never did that. Because of the love of God, the Lamb of Jesus, and they disciplined themselves with the testimony, with the word of testimony, the Ten Commandments. So they had to go through many trials and temptation, very hardships. Still, they went through. They loved the eternal life more than these earthly, temporary, fleshly desires. So that is their challenge and that is how they overcame. Now, just ask this question from you and I. Am I there? Are you there with them? Oh, are we somewhere different? Just think of it. Take a minute and before you write the journal, think of yourself and myself. If we are not there with them, 
we need to correct ourselves. We need to come back to where they are, where the disciples were. First and foremost is everlasting life, not this temporary life. Right? Let's correct ourselves and move on. See you tomorrow then. May the Lord God bless you.